Hello and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watts, today at Drayton Park Golf Club in my swing studio and I want to do a video on how to shorten your backswing to create the correct downswing sequence. So it has a huge impact uh, on how your lower body will initiate the downswing. If you don't already, all the social media info you need for us is coming along the bottom of the screen now. So uh, we're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also the website address is coming along the bottom of the screen. So uh, please check us out on those and follow us on there if you don't already. Today's video, as I said, is a great, uh, I'm going to give you a couple of great exercises to help shorten your backswing and make sure that your downswing is starting from the ground up, i.e. with your lower body. When we get a golfer who gets that club going too long on the way back, um, and that may be just a real increase of shoulder turn, often it's just actually they allow their lead arm to collapse and their hands get closer to the body, so they lose a lot of width at the top of the backswing. I have seen it before, it's even the club is starting to come loose in the hands, uh, and, and those golfers tend to complain of wearing their gloves out much quicker than anyone else. The club's actually getting quite loose in their hands, in their grip, and we tend to see this swing getting on way, way too long. When the backswing gets too long, you can't really start your downswing correctly with your lower body because you'll leave the club so far hanging behind that you'd have to generate huge hand speed to try and catch up, i.e. maybe a John Daly, big overswing, but really gives the ball a, a great lash always has to try and get his hands to catch up with his lower body. Um, of course, when he's on his game, when he's timing it, you know, he can, he can play some very, very good golf and always relied on a very good short game and putting skills. Um, when he doesn't play so much, when he's not practicing as much, again, too reliant on timing and hands are really running way behind the lower body. So this exercise I'm going to show you, a couple of exercises, is going to be great to try and shorten your backswing and then make sure we're starting the downswing with the correct sequence lower body first. Uh, I'm going to click so you can see the ball fly. I'm just going to hit a, a couple of different shots. So the first exercise we're going to do is just swinging back, trying to stop at the top and then hit. And I want it to feel like it's a good couple of seconds. If you're someone who swings too quick or too long, uh, you'll struggle with this and you'll feel like you're stopping and it's, you know, it's still a blur. So have a proper stop at the top. Now, when you're doing this, it's very easy to create more tension. So still try and stay very loose, very light with the grip and the grip pressure. Maybe making it a little smoother to stop at the top. And then go ahead and hit. Let me give one of these a whirl. So stop at the top, fire and hit. Once you've done a few of those, you'll find you don't really lose a lot. I mean, I, I hit that 170 through the air, 180 finish with a 7 iron. I didn't really lose any club head speed, uh, maybe a couple of miles an hour lower than I would normally be with club speed, but um, with the slight right to left movement, got a little, gained a bit of distance. You know, I, I didn't lose a whole lot there or anything really. Uh, good path into out by two degrees, good angle of attack. Club face was a fraction left, hence the ball finishing, uh, what was it? nine yards left to target but all in all I'm, I'm very happy with that very happy with the result by stopping at the top you will start to sequence your downswing better by starting with your lower body anyway the next exercise or a development from that uh, same sort of idea is utilizing uh, that practice exercise of stopping at the top and another drill that I've done before just involving a range bucket um, or any bucket will do even a football um, it's actually a little bit nicer when the bucket's more rounded rather than this square shape. This tends to dig in a little bit to your knees. But what I'm going to ask you to do is pop that between your knees. Again, make the same backswing where you stop at the top. By having this between your knees, it is going to limit the backswing. And it's going to even end up shorter than the last one I just showed you. Uh, but if your fault is going too long back and not sequencing the downswing correctly because of that, then let's over-exaggerate it, which is what this is going to do. Now, the only reason this shortens the backswing a little bit more is it does and will limit 
uh, the amount of hip rotation we're really creating in the backswing, which is therefore going to affect how much shoulder turn I can create. But the, the downside to this bucket far outweighs, um, sorry, the, the plus of this bucket exercise far outweighs the downside to it being a little bit shorter. What I'm going to ask you to do is stop at the top, drop the bucket as you start the downswing. So what that means is I'm holding with my right knee, my trail leg, my left knee is actually pushing out and starting to turn towards the target or round to the left. For me as a right-handed golfer, that means I'm starting to sequence the downswing correctly with my lower body. Let me just show you what that would look like from more of a face-on point of view without hitting the ball. So wind up, stop at the top, and it's that move there that we're really looking for at the start of the downswing with the lower body. That will automatically start to shallow your downswing in terms of the club shaft, and we're going to find that we can get a much better strike distance contact from there. Let's give that a whirl. So let me hit on the keyboard again so you can see the ball flight. So bucket between your knees. Try and go nice and light grip, tension and pressure. Slowly wind up to the top and stop. Ah, Not happy with the strike on that one. I'm going to hit one more. Just caught it heavy. Not going to worry too much showing you the data on that one, guys. So let me go back and hit one more. Right, take two. And again, light grip pressure, stop at the top, and then lower body starts the downswing. That felt good. That felt really good. So I managed to stop at the top. My first move was dropping the bucket. That allowed my downswing to start with my lower body, not my upper body. That shallowed the downswing. And although we haven't got the club data, uh, really happy with that ball flight. Worked, worked nicely. Let me just show you. So lost a little bit of speed, you can see on that one with the bucket exercise. But really don't worry about this. It's great to feel the sequence that we're looking for. Um, I'm pretty sure that was from an in-to-out path again, with the club face just a little bit open. You can see on the first shot I hit, just the stop at the top, we got some really, really good data that I'm trying to achieve with all those shots. If it's a fault of yours that you're overswinging, um, get someone to record you on the range. Look at where you actually get to. I see all these amateurs trying to create these you know, full back swings and get the club parallel to the ground. And we see much fitter, much more flexible tour players that don't get that far. So maybe we're trying to go too long. And by doing that, starting to collapse your lead arm, uh, maybe creating more of a reverse pivot where your weight hangs onto your, onto your lead side, onto your left side for right-handed golfer. There could be all sorts of things you're trying to do to create this longer backswing, and it's really going to have an effect on the sequencing on the downswing, which is the, the vital, vital stage here. So work on shortening that backswing with that pause at the top, and then your downswing can be initiated with your lower body. The exercise with the bucket, although it's a tough one, is a fantastic drill to give you that feeling of starting with your lower body. Let me know how you get on with those. Do um, post some comments and questions below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for all the other content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.